As we close today, I want to share one more thought, but it's not historical and it's not scientific, it's personal. The teachings in this book we call God's Word, they saved my life and they changed my life. And from that time forward, they've informed my life, my thoughts, my words, and my actions. And I 100% know that if you trust its teachings, it will do the same for you. That's why the trustworthiness matters so much. The author of Hebrews 4.12 teaches, God's word is living and active and sharper than a double-edged sword, penetrating to soul and spirit, joints and marrow. What does that mean? I wanna go to his word to find out. In the Old Testament, when God spoke his living and active word, the world was created, animals filled the earth, humans came alive and took their first breath, barren women gave birth, fire came down from heaven, water poured from rocks, seas parted, manna fell from heaven, the dead came to life. And then in the New Testament, when Jesus spoke, the deaf heard, the blind saw, the lame walked, water turned to wine, storm water ceased, sick were healed, and the dead came to life. The power of God's living and active word hasn't changed, my friends. It's still living and active, still capable of life transformation. It convicts hearts. It forgives sin. It gives life. It breaks addictions, it restores relationships, it furnishes protection, it provides guidance, it pours out hope, and it heals diseases. To me, this is the best evidence of the reliability and trustworthiness of God's word. If you struggle believing the physical, scientific, and historical evidence we've talked about, give God a chance to prove the truth of his word outside the hard evidence. Invite him to show you his deep and abiding love for you his glory, his power. If you've experienced a deep tragedy or intense suffering or difficult circumstances like I shared as we open today, turn it over to God, give him a chance. Open his word, find a verse or passage that speaks to your circumstances. Learn it, memorize it and pray it back to him. God will honor his word. He will do what he says his word will do. Unlike any other book in history, the Bible has an all-loving, all-powerful, all-knowing force behind the words on each page. And don't forget that force, the one who sent the words, he's the one who created, shaped, and molded you. He then filled you with himself and with his spirit so you could access his wisdom and his knowledge and his understanding and his power. So invite God to do mighty works above and beyond what you could ever imagine so that you will know that you know that these holy and sacred scriptures we hold in our hand are the true, reliable, verifiable, life-transforming words of God.